Steven. I, How did the show go? It was cool, man. I mean, um, it was the the crowd was kind of um, all over the place, so I tried to just do what I wanted to do and not think about them too much and just like zone out and go in my own place. But it was cool. I learned. I added some new songs, so I've been trying to figure out how to introduce them, you know. I played uh, a few songs that are coming out on the new album. The album is called Until the Quiet Comes. Yeah? It's hard for, like, to put into words, I know, but how, in which direction are you taking things now? It feels, it just feels like there's more songs more than ever. It feels like it's, it's a real album, you know, and... There's, there's moments that kind of bang, and there's moments that are very subtle and very quiet. You know, so it's, it's, it's nice. I feel like it's, it's the closest record that, to that I've done so far that captures all the stuff that I'm really into. You know, with, from the jazz to hip hop and hard beats and soft, like kind of acoustic music. It's all in there. I played uh, Odd Future, for instance, tonight. Um, is uh, Are they one of your favorite acts? Uh, Those are my homies, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I tried to sign Tyler before he became famous, you know? Yeah. I tried to sign him to Brain Feeder, you know? This, which is so funny. But, you know, it's, he's, yeah, he's, I love those guys. I, you know, I've been down and, you know, we're, we're all, you know, trying to connect somehow too, you know? but. It's love. It's all love. Have you seen Loiter Squad? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So silly. It's crazy. On the, the Champs podcast by Neil Brennan and uh, the Neil Brennan podcast with uh, Moshe Gasher and uh, DJ Doug Pound, uh, you uh, did a, like an improv song, kind of, and it was very quick. Uh, do you usually write that uh, like that? It's never that fast. But you know, when when you're on the clock being watched, I tried. You know, I was like, all right, let me make something really fast. So I was really nervous because I'd never done anything like that before. But it was okay. It was fun. What was it like doing the show with Neil and uh, and Motion? Yeah. It's cool, man. I mean, Neil's, uh, you know, he's kind of a buddy of mine. You know, we've been like, you know, becoming friends lately, and he's he's a really cool dude, real smart and like real. Uh, you know, his comedy is, is very, very smart. Just like, he's really conscious of the, the human experience, you know, of the now. He's really, he really knows what people are thinking, I think. He's really nice and really reachable. He's cool, man. Yeah, he's very accessible and he's been like, really like, trying to help me. And, you know, just we're all trying to help each other. You know, he's like, he loves what I do. I love what he does. So we're trying to find ways to connect. What was it like meeting Sasha, Sasha Gray, I mean, who was on the show with you, for the people listening? Oh my god. I, I don't know, man. It was, it was pretty heavy. I, I really, I liked her. She's got a good vibe, you know. What's that like as well? What's that? What's, what's that like as well? Because she's really intelligent as well. Yeah, she's real hip, you know, like from what I could tell, she's like, you know, real, she knows about stuff that the heads know, you know, she's real like forward thinking kind of person, you know, and yeah, she's real like, she's real smart, she knows what's up. A friend of mine met her and uh, he said she quoted the butthole surfers, like, out of the blue, which is awesome. <laughs> See, I'm not surprised.